<laughs> How's it going, everybody? Five to a gridiron. We're live right now. A little bit past seven, but you know what I mean. We we're uh, running around trying to get things organized right now. Uh, last minute decisions uh, put into play. So as you can tell, we don't have our guests right now. Sorry to shut. You know what I mean. It's alright. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah, it's um, alright. We'll, we'll move on. It's alright. We'll move on. Of course, yeah. you know things like that happen. Um, our guests. Um, who was gonna be on there? Uh, Julius Holt. Julius Holt. So he had a a prior engagement, I guess. So yeah. So. Prior to this. Um. Or scheduled after. I think he forgot about. You probably forgot. That, yeah. He yeah. He probably forgot. So. Yeah, yeah so. but it's all right. Yeah, it's you all good. I mean? It's all yeah. good. But yeah, so yeah, I know they had a a board meeting. They had a board meeting on Tuesday. The T Y S F. Tuesday or Thursday. Thursday, I want to say, but um, yeah, they had the board meeting and you know uh, they do it all through Zoom. Hmm. They do it all through Zoom, so you know they got all the presidents on there. Yeah, but um, so anybody who's tuning in right now, um, that was waiting for that, apologies right now. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe some other time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, we're just getting you know talking to a yeah. couple local local businesses. Um, uh -huh. out there, you know, get want to get their, you know, get their name out there, you know. Still, you got a uh, the unique landscape, desert landscaping, mm. out there that you know local business, you know, support them out. You got a, uh, uh, you got the, Bohorkas family with Diamondback Roofing. Uh, then, you know, of course, you know AZ Crown Photography, and that's that's Coach O right there doing his thing. So I know you, you guys got um. Events coming from the, from the school, you know, graduations and whatnot. Not just that, but you quinceaneras, know, quinceaneras are starting weddings. To pop. <laughs> yeah, just joking. I was like, I was, I, making, I, was, I was like making a delivery to to uh, to um, one of the restaurants. Restaurants like a bar and grill thing. I'm not gonna say their name because I don't want to put them out there. But nah. Oh, they're good. But, it's a good. Thing I, I mean, I don't. Gonna... It, it, I mean, it's good for them. I mean, they're gonna be having like a. a, a, a what do you call it? A dance tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. So I was like, "Shit, man, that'd be yeah." Man, can, nah, can, cool. can I go? Like, you know, but it, you right. know, I don't know. Like, I guess people are starting to to do things now. You know what I mean? Um, I'm waiting for it to bit. get a little bit warmer, because you know, as soon as the you know, maybe what March, yeah, he starts to come right. It's gonna be fiesta parties. Me that Kennedy. We're gonna have a cookout. Yeah. Stuff like that, yeah, right? Yeah, as soon as we're able to, we're gonna have the biggest carne asada <laughs> cook that you ever seen. You go half on a cow, you down? <laughs> yeah, you down? yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, a couple so hundred. That definitely has to happen. Yeah, but um, yeah, so yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah. So, <clears throat> anyways, yeah. So we might have a guest come in. I I threw it out there like anybody, but anybody wanted to stop by and yeah. show up. Who knows? I'm down for whatever. <laughs> now we, I mean, we got drinks a... in the back, so yeah. we have a big old studio opening right now with chairs. Man, we should have like a little open studio anyway. You know what I mean? So yeah. we might have. I'm I'm not gonna spoil it, but we're gonna have a guest for sure <laughs> on here. One of our one of our guys, one of our football players, an actual athlete is gonna come through and stop by. So we'll get his point of view on that in a little bit, yeah. and then. Uh, well, we usually have, we usually have a few guys out that just drop by one or two at least. Uh, they drop by to see what's going on, and they want to know like, wait, wait, how do you guys do this stuff? And and I just, and they ask me, and I'm I just I just point go to, yeah. go to that guy. So it's the it's usually planned, but tech, right now, yeah. right now with what happened, you know, we got canceled on. So it's it's like a bad feeling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like when you're single, right? And you know what I mean? Your date cancels. So you try to go on your phone, you try to hit somebody up, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. see what you can make out of it, but nobody's responding. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Oh, that's a bad analogy, huh? Yeah. It's like, okay, <laughs> maybe you're trying to get your car fixed, and right, and you make an appointment, yeah. but they cancel, and they said, you know, you got to come next week, but you didn't want it done now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So everything's kind of blown out of proportion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I feel right now. That's yeah. how I feel right now. I'm just calling, hitting everybody. Hey, who wants to come through? Have fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it's I understand. Event. It's Friday night. Yeah. You're with family. You're going out to dinner. Hit up Coach um, from oh. Sabino, actually. Yeah. Talked with him real quick. You know what yeah, I mean? what do you got to say? No, nah, no, nah, he's down to come on. He, But he's out right now. With, he's taking the wife out. 
uh, dinner right now. Yeah. Uh, I was like, you want to stop by, man? Let's talk to Bino football. You know? Yeah. But they got little plans, of course. But like, we're trying to get them on you yeah. know, a little bit later on. So get them out. <laughs> you, yeah, we got a few boys <laughs> over there. Yeah. Jamie laughing. You get me, Jamie, yeah. right? You understand? You understand what I'm talking about, right? We're, we're going to have to give Abel a uh, two week notice so we can get the day off to come down. He wants, he wants to come to the cookout. There you yeah, go. Yeah, so. Yeah, man, but yeah, that that seven on seven stuff is is in, in full full go right now. So there's Sawarita playing um with the touchdowns league. Um, you got you got a bunch a bunch of groups out there. A lot of a lot of the Raider boys playing you know out there, uh with uh with the Wolf Pack. Wolf Pack, you got a uh, Tucson Turf out there they're doing their thing um hold on actually if you're watching right now and you got something that's going on this weekend let us know right now yeah. we'll shout it out i know i'm going somewhere i'm going to phoenix tomorrow yeah there's a tournament out there for uh diego uh my cousin sunnyside football yeah he's doing something out there yeah. and i think there might be something going on next week too i was talking to uh mike baron from the Wolfpack. yeah i think they got something going on next week too in phoenix mm -hmm. that's all that i know of right now yeah, um, they're pumping on the sixth. On the sixth, it's another red zone. January yeah. sixth and seventh, they got a, uh, another red zone um, uh, tournament out there. Oh it's man, I'm itching to get out there, dude. I'm ready yeah. to take some pictures, do some take video. You better take your allergy pills. Man, there's a lot of damn dust out there. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, they, it's 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 good. I mean, there's a there's a bunch of people. You know, make 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 sure you have your mask out there. Yeah, you know, there's just a lot of people, you know. So what's up, Frank? Yeah, big Frank. Out what's there. up, Frank? You want to yeah. stop by? <laughs> uh huh? Frank, Frank. Get... Yeah, Frank. So don't, don't get me uh, started. man, he'll he'll talk forever, hey. man. He'll talk your head off. <laughs> hey, <laughs> free speech, Frank. Free speech. Free speech Let it man. out. Do your thing. Yeah. But yeah, man. So what else is going on? Nothing much, man. Just uh, like oh, I said. Sorry. You know, we'll go cut ahead. you off real quick. Boom. <laughs> cut you off real quick. Precision quarterbacks, man. Real quick. <laughs> yeah, Shout out to my boy Carlos. Yeah. Where, man, is, where is Carlos? I man, just was messaging yeah. him too right now. He's out there locked down. I don't yeah. want to say much more. He's locked go. down. You know what I mean? Got a beautiful it's, baby. It's He's locked down now. Hey, that's, the, but that's, the, that's the, way, the way to be locked down. Right we there, we went way past the 700 likes. You know yeah. that, right? And yeah. that's been like a little while. So... We've been doing like the raffle. We're gonna do a raffle for yeah. uh, precision quarterbacks, and I apologize to everybody who haven't got to that, but yeah. we will do it. I've got everybody tallied their names and everything. We'll do a spin the wheel. We're gonna get that out there, and then also we're gonna do a um, a raffle off a gift card too to um, a bar and restaurant called Bumsteads. I was just out there uh, this last Fort weekend. Avenue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's not. It's on Stone. Not it's on Stone. Bumsteads. Bumsteads, it's new. Mm, okay. It's on stone. And I was out there doing the film for them. So if you go out there to like Backyardies, there's like a web page called Backyardies, whatever. Yeah. And I, I did a little filming for them. Yeah. And stuff like that. Um, our host, Erica, she went out to go grub. And I yeah. do a little film of her eating and all that stuff. But that place was fire, dude. I loved it. Dude, yeah. the sandwiches like that, they're like super huge. Yeah. Anyway, I want to know why I, I didn't get invited to do the testing, <laughs> the, the eating. Man, they had like food right there. Five plates brought out to us yeah. and drinks. And there's like a karaoke stage. No, and no, does they Eric, had, Erica eat all that food? Nah, she takes a bite of each one, but really? I take the rest really? for me. You know what I mean? You guys just leaving food out there? <laughs> no, nah, really? we take it. Anyway, <laughs> and the atmosphere is dope, dude. They have like a. Like um a snakeskin wall, yeah. Like tuck, it's like pink, it's like crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Go check it out, Bumstead. Yeah. Anyway, I did the yeah. film. Anyway, you know what I do yeah. with my film and stuff. It's cool. <laughs> um, what up, JC? Anyways, I was gonna say yeah. they give us a gift card to raffle off, so we might okay. be doing a gift card raffle off uh, here soon uh, for that. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, definitely. That's more stuff to come. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. A lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of businesses starting to. Starting to uh, pump, uh, you know, ramp up their, their you know, promoting stuff out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. They there. know that the COVID is going away. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everything's going to be ramping up. That's why the TYS have they're trying to get ramped up. Everybody's trying to get ramped up with what they're trying to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but it's good, yeah. though. It's good to see that. Like, you know, like I said, you know, you already got, you know, some places doing dances and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's. It's it's cool. It's good to see. It feels good. It lets yeah. you know that. All right, you Shout know, out to all the businesses who who came out from what happened from COVID. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Got to support them now. Yeah. So, yeah. 
So yeah, man, a lot, a lot of local businesses thrived, you know, that, that stayed open, you know, with the Uber and uh, uh, and all that stuff, the Uber Eats and uh, what is the other DoorDash and all that stuff. Like they, they still stayed, they still stayed plugging away because they were getting their food back. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so, I mean, you don't got to clean no tables when you're doing that. He got to throw in the plug. Was that yeah, the Ubers and the oh, the ones that yeah, deliver I your meals care. or what? There's a lot of them. You want to throw your meals in? <laughs> hey, you be like, shout out to the Ubers who I, deliver my I, meals I, when I order. I'm really I hungry late at night. I personally get my food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, hell no. I want to give a shout out to the dude. <laughs> I, for a minute, I was ordering too from yeah. like from yeah, Chipotle a, and a free delivery. Shoot, I'm taking advantage stuff. too. Everybody was yeah. doing that free delivery stuff. Yeah, Netflix right. and chill. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so shit, no, oh, shit. Yeah, Lori's gonna come in right now. Huh? Lori's yeah. about to come in right now. You want, I'll hit him for you. I'll hit him for you, Lori. <laughs> but yeah, no, man. So yeah, there's a lot of teams going up there, uh, heading out tomorrow. Some, some, some guys are already out there. Um, you know, good luck to you guys out there up in Tucson, uh, heading up north to Phoenix. It's a uh, high school and middle school teams. Yep. Um, you know, uh, um, and yeah, next week you got the, the or was it February 6th and 7th? It's the red zone. You know, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, you get, you get to see that these kids just, they put on a good show. And, uh, I, I think the championship game, they got that center stage field where they have a big a big screen with and it's showing the Jumbotron. The, like a big, yeah, a big old that's Jumbotron dope. and they're out there playing in it. And, and the kids Love are just. It. They're loving it. They're eating it up. But yeah, man. What's up, Coach Jeremy? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's what's going on right there. But you know, let, let let's uh let's go ahead and uh let's get into this uh the about the meeting with the TYF. Okay. Um, you know, I, Jeremy, if you want to if you want to call in, we'll put you on, on on the mic. Um, we'll get you going. If if anybody has any questions about stuff from from TYF and what what happened with the, the meeting or stuff like that. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and uh, type it in, you know, and we'll try to get those answers to the best of our ability. And you know, on the on this, on 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 five two green iron, we ain't trying to beat around the bush on anything. We go ahead and get it straight to the point. We just need to get the information yeah, out. It's pretty inform- much what it is. Out, you, know you know what I mean? mean? So that's all that matters. The more informed you are, the, the better. Yeah. You know. So there, the Julius, right there. Yeah. What's up, Julius? I know you couldn't make it, bro, but we'll have you on next time. <laughs> You know what I mean? I know you had family things right now, but uh, you know, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's all so good. We'll be, we'll be, uh, we'll be, we'll be fine with that. But yeah, so right now there is gonna be there is there is gonna be there is gonna be a TYF season, TYFSF season. Um, you know, and and uh, you know, either way, there's gonna be football. Period. There's gonna be a so, ton yeah, of football wherever be, you want to go. I mean, the, you can't get enough. There's yeah. gonna be a lot of football, dude. Yeah, whichever way you go. Yeah, you know what I mean, it, it it was you know it's crazy. I mean, you know, going through what we went through last season, it was a, a lot of um, you got to meet a lot of a lot of people, so it was able to you're able to um, you know, you know, you know, connect uh, connect with people, mm-hmm. connect with people, and um, what I noticed, go from there, you know. Is that I know the whole season thing, you know what I mean, was a was weary and all that stuff, but they really shine. Like the kids who wanted to play, they found a way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They did. Like the dedicated ones, they didn't stop, dude. They were working out and they wanted that playing time. You know what I'm saying? So they found a way. And they found a way by doing that, by doing I mean, it was another league or something out there. Yeah. I don't know. We didn't I'm just saying, you know what I mean? They it was a nonstop football for me this year to watch, yeah. right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, a yeah. lot of playing time. It, you, you know, that was it, awesome. It, you know, and it was it was a lot of kids that didn't play that wanted to play. You know, they yeah. there was a lot of kids that wanted to play. It's just you know, like like and did it safely. Know. Yes, can yes. I say that? Did it safely as as safe as you can be as safe as, as you safe can be. as you can be. Um, and uh, and it was done. I mean, big big props to to uh. To the Oral Valley Dolphins, they played. Um, uh, to the the Tucson Scorpions, okay. Mm-hmm. See the them play. Tucson Raiders. They balled. Played. Um, you have uh, mm-hmm. you have the Sierra Vista Spartans Knights. They changed their name to the Colts. Um, 
that is one hell of an organization right there. I mean, they've been around for, for a long time, since the 80s. And uh, being able to work work with them, they're also AYF. So being able to work with them, being able to work with them and... Um, yeah, getting it done for the kids, and man. Getting, getting it done for them. And, the you kids know, want to play. We, we added in other other organizations in there, you know, to, to be able to have a season. You had the Tucson Falcons. They had a they had a couple teams in there. Shout out to the Falcons. So, you know, shout out to Harold out there. You know, he you know he he had our back. We had his back on on these things, and and that's what it was about. For I the mean, majority, all yeah. the all the teams, high school, Pop Warner, they're strong, dude. They were like resilient yeah. when it came to this situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they all were like, we can handle it. Yeah. Leave go it ahead. To us. Go ahead and call in, Julius. You know what I mean? Go and, to my point, and I felt like they could. I I would have if I would have my son in high school or or whatever, and the coach was like, I leave it up to the coach's decision. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I trust, I trust them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The kids were resilient. They they of course they, they were, like, especially the high schools. You have to the be. high schools where they they these boys, you know, and girls because they're girls that play the football also and with the cheer, the cheerleaders also. I mean, my daughter's a cheerleader and. You know, you know, one of the one of the things is they were very disciplined. They were, if they had to go get a COVID test, they got a COVID test. They went and did it. Did they like it? No, they, they didn't do it like once it. Once a week, yeah, but, but and they yeah, would do it every Tuesday. I think they were doing them Tuesdays or Mondays. But 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 no one know, is they most disciplined it. more than these kids. Yeah, who's and, the most disciplined? And that's why it was disappointing not to not to see them play, especially like I said for the seniors. You know. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of, you know, some of these seniors got some slack and, uh, in the, and the family, the parents, the families of the seniors, they got, you know, Short. you know, they, yeah, they, 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 did. they got slighted, you, you know, got finessed. Yeah. But you know, a lot of people are like, well, yeah, you got to understand the situation, but yeah, yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. understand that you, 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 your son, I your son it. or daughter is a sophomore, a freshman or a junior. And you're saying that because you, 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 you know, if you were in those shoes of the senior kids. It, it's it's hard because you never get that back. If you're a junior or sophomore, your son or daughter is gonna have that extra time. There was two we types got, of personalities through yeah. all of this. Julius, oh Julius is ready. Home. He's ready. What up, Julius? Let me get you on the mic right uh-huh. here. Hold up one second. I wasn't expecting you, Julius. Hold up. Let me get you. <laughs> let me get your mic. Let me get you mic'd up. Get the cardboard cutout. Put you right. right here. Yeah. How's that softball tournament going? It's gonna it get rained out, or you guys gonna play it? Yeah, Man, they cancel. I hate yeah. that word. I hate yeah. that word, cancel. It sounds all weird. Yeah. Hey, you guys listening out there? Can you let me know if you can hear clear? Julius, you want to go ahead and get you, uh, um, say a couple words really, really quick, so because we can get the sound on for you. All right. So uh, let's go. I'm sitting down here in the lobby of the hotel. Can you? Yeah, sound right, good. We're good. We, we got you good. So we got um on the on the line we got um. Julius Holt, president of Tucson Youth Football and Spirit Federation. Uh, we got Holt and... Uh, Can somebody look up to... the TYF and uh, pull this picture and then do a Bernie Sanders cutout and put him right here next to us, please? <laughs> <laughs> like they put, hey, Julius, put your mittens on. Put, <laughs> yeah. your, put your mittens on. <laughs> put Julius right here. Somebody. Jamie's yeah. going to do it. Jamie's going to do it. Yeah, don't, don't tempt Jamie. I haven't worn mittens since I left Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So. Good to have you on the show, Coach, even though yeah. it's through the phone. But, yeah. man, so we'll what's, get you on live. What's happening, Coach Julius? Tell us what's up. Oh, not a whole lot, man. I just figured uh, since I wasn't able to make it, um, <laughs> I would call in just in case people had questions or they needed some answers to some of the questions or people wanted to know how the meeting went and so forth and so on. Yeah, Coach. Yeah. Tell us how the meeting went. I thought I thought the meeting went very well. I mean, I think a lot of the presidents were very receptive to a lot of the things we uh, proposed. I mean, again, everything that was written, you know, for the most part, it was it was, a, it was a draft with suggestions of things that we like to see happen in order for us to uh, do a season next year. We are we are going to have a season. Registration is March first. Through the six for returning players, and then it's open for everybody else on the seven. Can you so, um, can you let us in on some of those suggestions that were presented? 
Can you talk well, about that? Some of the things, some of the things we talked about, uh, or that was sent out to the president, was some of the protocols that we're going to put in place, and they're no different than what the high schools had and what colleges have and so forth. We're going to ask the coaches to wear masks, players to put on a mask or wear the gator when they're on the sideline. They ain't got a wham during the course of the game. You come out of the game, slip your little gator over your mouth, you know. Uh, We also talked about making sure that, you know, people have hygiene and we take temperature checks and stuff like that and that the coaches wear masks during practice. And and that's pretty much it. You know, there's some things that we – don't have no control over like if if there was some high schools that we're able to use and they tell us you can only have two parents or four parents or family members and that's all we can let in you know and so um, that's beyond my control i mean we, we're planning for an eight game season you know and um, we have two i think two makeup dates just in case something should go awry and uh we got to shut it down for a week or two then we'll try to make those games back up um Okay. Um, I'm looking into, uh, well, I've already got the contract and we decided to go and play all our games at Keno for Saturdays and Sundays. Um, it's just a matter of, of this meeting I'm having next week with the city council to try to get uh, this nonprofit rate so we can do that. And, you- and that might save all the different associations some costs depending on what it's going to cost us. You follow what I'm saying? I feel but, um would you say this but, meeting you know, was more like a procedure for like COVID nineteen? Like, what are the rules on that and stuff like that? Or say that again? Was this meeting more of like a, a meeting about like procedures and things like protocol. that for the COVID protocol for like COVID nineteen? Or was it more in yeah, depth about pretty, some other stuff? Like the it was worries. Pretty much a meeting. Yeah, it, it was pretty much a meeting uh, in reference to uh, COVID nineteen. You know, as far yeah. as what we're going to be doing. You know, how are we going to handle some things mm-hmm. as well as, you know, giving people a start update to when the season's going to start, uh, what those expectations are going to look like for all the different coaches and players and volunteers and associates. Um, so it was a little bit of both, but mainly it was just to talk about the protocols that we're going to put, that we're going to put in place and also to let people know that all the associations are welcome. We haven't turned anybody out. You know, so everybody that was part of TYF the year before or the year before that, they're all welcome to be um, take part in what we're doing. So, um, you know, we're not denying anybody or pushing anybody out. So, are you gonna are you gonna let the Sierra Vista Colts in the organization? I mean, they they, I think, like you said, um, they got six tackle teams and three flag teams this this past year in the the Sierra Vista Colts. They're with the they used to be the Spartans. Spartans. Yeah, they well, right changed, now. Yeah, I mean, if we're about growing, I think they got about two hundred and fifty kids. Sure, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, what I well, right now, what we're doing is we're looking at making sure that we take care of the programs that we already have in place, and we put a new rule in. I think it was last year before last, where there was some protocols that had to take place if a new team was going to be coming in. So in other words, they could apply the year before and then they could be a part of the following year. And that stuff was discussed and voted on uh year before last. So as far as the coats go and the other program you're talking about down in Sarah Vista, uh, it's not real clear what's gonna happen right now, but uh as far as uh them being able to be part of this for this year, you know, that's a discussion you need to have with the executive board and with the presidents just to make sure, because we did vote that it was a, it was a one year process that you, for you to become part of the league. And that, and that's what they voted on. So, uh, yeah. it's a one year, one year coming. probationary period when you, when yeah. you, when you come into the league. Right. Yeah. Some, yeah some, some, and, and see, the thing is right now, I, I just want to make sure I'm able to accommodate all 15 associations. Cause when you think about it, Angel, yeah. If, if, they, if the numbers stay the way that they were in the past, that's 87 games every weekend. 
that we would have to play and we would have to find fields for all those particular teams. Find fields. So we, we asked. Huh? Yeah. We need fields down here. Yeah, Somebody well, plant a crop and make well, a field. Well, the Sierra, the Sierra Vista Colts, they have, they have a field. They got, yeah. they got a field and a, oh, do they? auxiliary field. Oh, yeah. dang. We need an indoor. Yeah. Yeah. It has goalposts also. Holy smokes. Anyway, yeah. but uh, Angel, coach. But Angel, you know like I know, the Raiders don't have no problem going and playing anybody, anywhere, at any time. But and... we got some programs, I can't get them to travel 20 miles. You know, and you know that. I mean, so uh, that you know, that's why when we put that deal in with the 49ers and with the Santa Cruz Cardinals, we did a home. We did. We decided to do four games down there, and four games up here, just so we could make it even. So the so that those teams, so we didn't have a team traveling one place every weekend uh, for eight weeks straight. So yeah. you know, it's a work in progress, man. Yeah, but I, I like because I don't because like I said, I don't know if and 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 I don't know if you were in, informed of 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 the way well, the way they they uh they do their things, but they that that organization is is willing to travel, and and they proved oh, yeah. it this year, and they 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 don't mind coming down here for four or five games because at the end of the day at the end of the day they're gonna find themselves going to to Phoenix, and it'd be a shame wow. to just have them drive through Tucson. To you know, three and a half, three and a half, three hours and forty five minutes to go play one game, when they can just come to Tucson Youth Football Tucson. and be welcome, yeah. welcomed here. And like I said, the the organizations that will that will travel will go there. You know what I mean? And and um, you know, I think um, I think that is something that that the presidents they they need to know, and 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 something that needs to be discussed in a whole. And 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 uh, be able to hear everybody out in that in that manner. And um, like I said the Raiders are, we you know I can I can speak on that. You know we're we're willing to go. And I'm sure teams like 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 the Rams, I'm sure the Redskins, and uh, the Broncos they they be more than willing to go. And, and and again I'm not saying that they won't. All I'm saying is they put, we put in a new policy saying that you could if they apply this year. We would take and look at all their stuff and so forth, and then they would be allowed to participate the year after. That's what was put in place. That. That's what was voted yeah. on by the president. I so, and, and I don't, you know, and, and to talk about it right now, you know, I would need more time to really get into the nitty gritty of it. I mean, if you and I want to go to lunch one day, I can sit down and go over all the particulars with you. We're not trying to deny nobody. I mean, it's like Benson and Will. I'm I've coming. had them contact. Hold I'm I've had them. Coach, yeah, I'm definitely. Hungry. We can. I'm we can. Hungry, man. We can. Uh, we can. We can definitely do that. But 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 seriously, do it. You know what I mean? Because uh, in in you know sooner sooner than later. Because I just think it's a we're doing a disservice to a bunch of kids. You know, and and this is what what we're what we're about. Yeah. And when we go to to other places, as in El Paso, Texas, we go to Phoenix, up to Nevada. Um, we tell everybody, you know, hey man. You know, TYF, that's who we play. And we're, we're proud of playing TYF football. We're proud of being 52 years, going into 52 yeah. years with this organization. And, um, you know, and, and, and it kind of, you know, the guys were kind of hit on surprise. Like, what do you mean we can't play? I mean, they couldn't apply last year because TYF was shut down. Um, they, right. you know, and they, they tried their best. And like I said, they're AYF already. They're not just some, uh, just a, a league oh. that just got made up. But it would and, be and I, and it would I, be and great and I, and to not, have that that because they play each other with Buena in high school. And, you know? and what we'll what we'll probably end up doing uh, is when we do the schedule, if there's some games in there where we have some bye weeks or something like that, we'll probably end up um, if we if we have the room and the space, throw them in there so that they can compete against us. We get a feel of what's going on and give them a little opportunity to see what we're about, and then that makes everything that much better as far as moving forward. But right now. I'm not really uh, uh, in a position to to speak on them because there's also another program down there, the service. I mean, the Greens, the and they're not that far. And they're not that far apart. And I know that guy's put in a lot of work to get his program going. So all those logistics would have to be would have to be uh, figured out, you know. And then there's some there's some rules that bind us from doing certain things through AYF as well. I mean. We get that, coach. Uh, two, huh? We get that, man. A lot of rules and stuff. Can yeah. I ask you a quick question? So you guys have been around fifty-two years, right? Yeah. And so with something with that long of a length of progress, 
and excellence, there can come lots of rules and regulations that have evolved during that time with the experience that this organization have, right? Like with my job, right? Mom and pop shop. Start off with the mom and pop shop. You know what I mean? You do what you do to get going and stuff like that. But as time goes, you build a reputation, things like that. Organization grows. It becomes big, things like that. Um, sometimes the rules and regulations can change, right? To Oh, yeah. Uh, you know and, what I'm saying? And, and you're, you're exactly right. Yeah. And, and sometimes when you start to grow like that, you got to go back and revisit your business plan and see how it look. Yeah. You know, we're expanding here. We're expanding there. And, you know, we just added two programs. You know, we added the Wolverines. That would have been part of us last year. We had a season. And the year before that, we added the Tucson Thunder. So we added, we've been trying to add teams every year for the last three years. So I'm not saying it's not going to happen. It's just a process. Oh, yeah. And then when, you, when you're part of the AYF uh, formula, they have rules that says how many teams you can have in one area. Like yeah. Tucson, for the most part, is different. And that's why we're able to have 15 associations because they're in different parts of town in one city. Like in California, if you were in Cerritos, the city of Cerritos, they can only have one youth AYL football team in Cerritos. They couldn't have two organizations. They can only have one. So mm-hmm. the next organization would become over in Long Beach. Right. That type of thing. Do you think some... go places like... Yeah. Do you think sometimes an organization could get too large where they kind of, you know got to bring it back like you talked about right now you just said right now bring it back home you know what i mean bring it back oh, yeah. and, to the mama pop side of thing and, you know what i mean make it easy a little bit and i gotta and i gotta also make sure that and, and it's nice to know that they've got their own fields because that's a huge plus you know because they think because that helps that that's one of the things that's one of the questions that we ask when we go through that process do you guys have a practice field do you guys have a home field to play on then we look at your tax returns and all that kind of stuff to make sure that you're where you need to be so that there's no issues in that area. Make sure that you're in good standing with the Arizona Corporation Commission. There's a lot of stuff there's that goes a lot. in it. It sounds like a lot. Sounds like a lot. You know. Man. Yeah. So it ain't, yeah. so it ain't, it ain't like I yeah. – but I'm, with, I'm, I'm on solid ground with Angel. I'm not, I'm not uh, yeah, yeah. against bringing anybody on. I just want to make sure that when we do it, that we do it the right way. Mm-hmm. And I would love to see us grow – one, one new program or one new association every year into about 20 to about 20 associations. Because I think if we get any bigger than that, we won't, we, it'll take a, it'll be a long day and we won't have enough time to play games or have fields to accommodate everybody. We feel you coach. Yeah, we no, you, definitely. Yeah. You know, like I said, I mean, it's, uh, you know, you know, um, you know, uh, I'm all about growing the organization or growing, growing, um, you know, expanding the things for the, these kids to learn how to travel. One of these um, kids right, right here. One yeah. of our boys right here. You see this kid right here? How was it traveling uh. with the Raiders? We travel, boy. All right. Go to Phoenix. Go to, go to. How'd you like that? It felt good. Um, it we got one of our two ISS. We, we got one of our, our, our players right here. You got Samario. He plays out at uh, Sunnyside High School now. I don't know what happened to his hair, though, Coach. Uh, we, we're gonna talk about that in a bit. <laughs> but yeah. you got you got Julius Holt on the on the on the line right here. Our president. So, so right here. yeah, you got anything you wanna let this young man know about what he's gonna be seeing in high school? He's gonna be what sophomore tomorrow. Sophomore. Oh, hey, and, uh, hey, the, the one thing I would tell a kid that's going in high school is just make sure the first thing that you take. Of is those academics. That freshman year and that sophomore year is the two most important years of your high school academic career. They dictate where you're going to be as far as a recruitable athlete come a junior and a senior. If you don't have the right grades or the right uh, 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 courses by the end of your sophomore year, you're in a hole. You know, and I ain't talking about having a 2.0 or 2.5. Every kid should be shooting to get a 3.0 making sure that they take their English, their math, their science, their social studies, their fine arts, and their foreign language. Those are the classes that you have to have in order to meet the clearinghouse and get past the 48H of the clearinghouse. And that's and and that's a huge deal. So uh, 
I would tell kids, you know, make sure you, uh, when you get out there, don't be upset if you don't varsity your first year, even your second year. Just keep working hard and become coachable. Because at the youth level, you can be the best player on the youth level then get in the high school and find out, oh, damn, I thought I was a pretty good running back. But then somebody in front of me that's a hell of a lot better. And, uh, you know, some kids can get discouraged. And you got to keep working and say, you know what, I need to know what's going to make me better. And hopefully, like some of the stuff you spoke about earlier, Angel, yeah. being able to compete against teams in Phoenix and places like that will let people know that's how much harder you got to work if you want to achieve those same goals and accomplishments. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, definitely. And, and I'm going to put it down right here. Hey, yeah, yeah. Tucson is not behind Phoenix in anything of football. We are not behind any of them. Nope. We, we, hey, they got to well, come through Tucson, period. Hey, bro, and, and I feel you on that one. And I had a conversation with, I don't know who this guy is, his name said, but I keep telling him, <laughs> I say, man, we, I say, we don't run from nobody. I say, we try to schedule games every year with Phoenix teams. And when we do it, we can't get you to come here, but you want us to travel up there. Right. And we don't have no problem doing that if you travel down here. But we ain't going to keep running up to you every weekend. Ain't nobody scared of you. It's just a football game. You put your helmet on, I put my helmet on. I put my pants on, you put your pants on. And when we line up, the thing comes down to, I'm either you're going to knock my head off or I'm going to knock yours off. And I'm going to tell you right now, you have a hard time knocking us off for the kids and two sides off because we ain't backing down from nobody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Them guys from Sunnyside backing down from anybody next year? No. No, yeah. mask, yeah. mask and all, right? Yeah. We're going to do it however we got to do it. So, you know. And you know what, hey, hey, Angel, and I feel bad for those kids from Sunnyside that played last year. I mean, I, you know, I, I watched a lot of high school games in other cities and other states where they were able to play. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know, Sunnyside, I think, only played games, one game, maybe two. One. Yeah, one game. One. And there was some other, there was like in Washington, D.C., where I'm from, they didn't play football. They didn't play football at all. There was no football. They canceled the whole football season. Yeah. So, you know, my thing is, you know, we're in program. So, you know, we some people were able to do some things different where they were able to, you know, go other places and play. But again, you know, you know, we're, we're just one, we're just one group and the city and the county and the governor and all them, they dictate to us what we're going to do. And if I only had five teams last year for TYL, shit, we would have played. But when you got yeah. 87 games every weekend, that makes it hard. Yeah. Makes it hard. Yeah, but if, if if they try not to have high school football, and I ain't trying to be a negative Nancy, they don't have no high school football this coming up year. Mm. You you better believe that we're gonna have TIF Tucson Independent Football, <laughs> and we're gonna go to we're gonna go play Cal. I ain't lying either. I'm telling it, you, right it's now, gonna we're gonna have our You're gonna play this year. However, we gotta do well, it. You're gonna play, but we're gonna do it to the safest that we can. And and yeah. but they're they're gonna have some football, man. They need to have they need to be able to do what they love doing because, you know what, you, you don't get yesterday back. Is that right? Oh, I agree with you on that. But yeah. if you think about it, the long, one of the largest states in the union, California, they sh- they just shut down football, and yeah. there's a lot of people out there that's pissed off, and that's some good football. Yeah. And you know, and the thing is, you know. I, I would hate to be the governor of California or the mayor of one of those c- c- cities yeah. because it's like you're getting it from everybody. But, you know, them, them politicians, man, you can bark at them all night long and all day long. They yeah. ain't moving. They ain't, they ain't going to they ain't gonna move off that, 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 that stone that they're on or that rock that they're on. Yeah. But we're going to try. We're going we're to have a season, ain't we? We're yeah. going to play some football. Yeah, we're going to try. We're going to do it, and we're going to do it with everybody – Everybody having to work together. Everybody putting their, their, you know, their, you know, we got to get everybody. Make sure that us as adults, make sure that we put our egos aside, check it at the door, and make sure that we yeah. come to, we come to, uh, uh, an agreement with everybody. You know, it's not going to agree with all fifteen organizations, but it could, or, or or sixteen if we include those codes. But we, I'll see you on the golf course for that. We might have to, uh, put, we might have to play for that one. You can't golf, hey, coach. Hey, she, they, oh, hey, they call me Chichi Rodriguez. Man. Hey, you I, want to go for? I just took my clubs out my truck to come up here, but uh, <laughs> hey, anytime you want to play, brother, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, but, but Angel, I thought it was a softball game. Angel, oh. Yeah, hey, yeah. Guys, I, 
I would like to say this, <laughs> and I mean this, and I mean this. Yeah. There is no right or no wrong answers. No. But at the same token, it's like if I, you know, it's like having a job. If I was working for one of you guys and you told me, Julius, every day that you come to work, you got to have your mask on when you walk in the door. Yep. And if I say, Angel, I ain't wearing a mask. And you say, well, Julius, if you can't wear your mask, I can't have you in the building, which means eventually you're going to lose your job. Yeah. The things that we're asking people to do are not over the top. Wearing a mask, making sure you take the kids' temperatures. You know, don't let a kid come to a game. Coaches, wear your mask. Those are simple things. Yeah. You know, those are simple requests. And they're no different than what the high schools are doing. When the high schools did it, I didn't see nobody over there protesting and telling them, you got to let my kid play or you can't do it is what it is, and, and if I think I think if we can get everybody on board, like you said earlier, and not be selfish and look and not look at this as a me thing, yeah. we think it ain't a me thing. If we all do the same things collectively, we'll have a productive season. We can play. Yeah, and, it, and play, like it's, yeah, on, on that note, it's like it's like you're exactly right. Like if 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 um, nobody agrees with Julius, and everybody else is on this on another page. Like together, we gotta roll with that. Or maybe Julius is right, and his executive board is right. And okay, then we 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 gotta go with what the executive board said. You know, so a lot of people, a lot of people, they 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 think it's one person making these decisions. You know, it got it, you know, and everybody everybody has to be involved in these decisions that are being made, including parents. I mean, Especially you get, get organization there, this big, you know, you got to get input out there for everybody. And do you know do I mean? something. Uh, 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 um, I'm not saying that you're not you're you're being trans, you're not being transparent. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that if we do like say we come here and we have a little, I guess you would say, town hall, and and All and right. that way we can we can have parents chime in. And ask questions or give their opinions on what's going on, because, like I said, I mean, these, these guys, like, if, if these guys run into a, a situation to where, where um, there's there's no football for them again, well, you, like I said, I'll put it right now. I'll tell you, they're gonna play one way or another, and we're gonna we're gonna do okay. it as safe as possible, because we did it with the inner city youth football league that that we did uh, this past season. I mean, there was temperature checks. They were masked. Uh, um, it was a, a lot of sanitizer. I'm tired of sanitizer. That thing eats up your hands. <laughs> God damn. Hey, but, hey, you, and, hey. and you know what, Angel? Yeah. And, and, and I know I might get some, and, and anybody that was you know, on any of our meetings last year will tell you, that's all I was asking for last year. I had two or three associations that flat out told me that they coaches wasn't going to wear masks. Yeah. Flat out told me that, and that they weren't going to take temperatures. We don't have time to do that. Who are we going to have to do that? I say, well, you got a general manager. You got a business manager. You got equipment manager. Make that part of their role. Make that you you got to you take attendance every day to make sure kids are in practice in order for them to get their hours. So when they're doing the attendance, just take the temperature. Well, game day, same thing. You know, if a kid has a temperature, sit him down. Let him rest a little bit. He might have ran from the car to the field. The temperature might drop. If it didn't drop, do, wait another 10 or 15 minutes and take his temperature. Yeah. Our goal isn't to send nobody home. It's to make sure that we do what we're supposed to do. Well, I've done my work at the University of Arizona, and the situation came up where some, a kid's grades got released, and they sued us. Yeah. They filed a lawsuit. I don't know if anybody's been through a lawsuit before, but when that stuff happened, it's real. They coming after Angel, the Raiders, the whole board, and everybody else. Not saying that you're going to yeah. do anything wrong, Angel, but that's just how yeah. it works. Yeah, if your pockets but, ain't deep, hey. if your pockets ain't deep, you're in trouble. Yeah, and, and, and that's where you that's where that's where you pull out the waiver form and say you are informed that this is a possibility that it can happen. And and, and yes, a waiver form is it, it's in writing. It's in right. writing, and, and it, I don't I don't care what. Certain lawyers or whatever it is, it, it's in writing. It's there. You are informed of the possibility of getting hit by lightning, you know. Right. And it's not and, our and, fault. You know what I mean? Because you had you had a and, you know button on your you, pants. You, you know, it's metal. If you if you and Angel, you know what was funny? Yeah. I, not funny, but I I get some emails with you when I come on your show. I had parents emailing me saying, "So you want 
with that sad little family that we had. I had parents saying, so you want me to sign a death certificate, a death waiver for my kid? That's like, man, all I'm saying is this is what Sadler Insurance sent us in order for us to have a program. And yeah, for your day. kid to be covered yeah. on the show. I didn't write this policy. This is this is the, what they're showing. Yeah. And I met with our legal team, Ali and those guys. So it ain't like when when I come up with or we come up with some of the standards, we met with people. We met with people from the University of Arizona. I had a meeting with about six or seven high school coaches. Yeah. I mean, I we we had meetings to to get some guidance. Hey coach, I wanna do a season. Can yeah. I need to do it? Coach, do we have the right yes. to refuse? To refuse what? Uh, to some refuse what? A parent trying to apply, but they come up with crazy, like you know what I mean, like you know, like what do you you, mean? If somebody going to a store and they don't not wearing a shirt, and you pre- present the policies, be like, you no, can't come in the store without a shirt, it's your, and then be like crazy, like what, what you just said right now. Thing like, is, if, if you don't, if you don't sign those waivers, if you don't sign the waivers and stuff like that, you can't play. Well, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just cause that's part of the registration pack. But explaining like the waiver, just, like you just you know, said, let, <laughs> like, let me let, let's let's do one a little bit better. We're gonna up the show a little bit right here. Um, let me get. We're gonna we got a couple of parents in here. The Madrid family then come in. We we, we want to ask you guys because you guys can come in. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Sorry, coach. We have one of our yeah, guests we, right here. We have, a, we have a snack bar back there. I don't and, know if you you're know, watching the show right now, but what we got one of our boys right now. Stuff, so we do it. We do it. We do it big. Are you, you're making steaks today too, right? Yes. Thank you. It's venison, coach. It's venison. He got, he okay. got some deer. We got one of our players uh, right here. He he came up through, you know, youth football. You know what I'm saying? Go and uh, right, represent I, yourself I right here. Him. You yeah. see him? Okay. Nice. Tell us who you yeah. are. I see him. You should know this kid right here. He's dope. Yeah. He's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. My name is Mario Garcia. Um, I go to Sunnyside High School. Who'd you play for? I play for the Tucson Raiders. Yeah. Okay. I remember. I remember. I remember Garcia. Yeah. I remember him. Did Did he have the same hair? Yeah. Yes. Say that again. Did he have the same hair? I went to All Stars with you. Yeah, but I remember seeing him. Yeah. yeah. He I went to All Stars with you, Coach. Yeah, he's an All Stars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, my bad. Yeah, but yeah, we got we you know. We got we got dad here. We got dad here. We're gonna we're gonna ask dad the question of then high school. Then high school, did you guys have to sign a waiver or anything? Um, like a COVID waiver? Yeah. Um, to yeah. to have the, the boys on the field. Yeah, for practicing, they gotta get tested. Yeah. Tested uh weekly, right? Yeah. Tested weekly. Um, gotta wear the mask. You know, six feet, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see, that angel, yeah. that, 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 those are the same. Those are the same things. Those are the same things that we're talking about doing similar that this dad is talking about, with the exception of testing, because that wouldn't be feasible for us with all our parents. But I mean, we're trying to make it as simple as possible. And I'm sure that dad that's standing right there, he said, "Hey, look, my son want to play. Do we got to do to get him to play?" Yeah, yeah, no, exactly, exactly. And at the same time, the the youth football is not high school football. We, you know, it, it, the the high school teams they have their field, that is their field, you know. So we might we might as as an organization as as a federation we, we might have to look at playing at parks again, and and you know we we you know what I mean and and throw some guidelines in there about just you know having se- separation and stuff like that. And like I said, right now right now we're 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 talking about all these guidelines and stuff like this and 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 protocols. Who knows by July, August, September, if we're gone. even going to even be in there. Hopefully, it's it's hopefully, not. You know? Hopefully, it's gone. And, yeah. Angel, just so you know, with Parks and Rec, with Parks and Rec, the way that they had their things set up, you had to practice social distancing there. I got yeah. the forms at home. Six feet apart. They Six wanted feet. you to wear masks. They only wanted a certain number of group of together. I mm-hmm. mean, you know, but some people didn't pay that no mind. I can flat out tell you that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, it's 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 crazy, but I mean, it, it's what you got to do, and and like I said, you know, a lot of times these kids aren't playing, and they're not doing what they love to do, what they work out to do. Like they don't get this time back. Yeah, they don't get yeah. it back. Hey, but, you know, and hey, and uh, an underclassmen's parent will be okay. Yeah, we're not gonna play, but because you know they got next no. year. Think of the right. seniors. And, well, and like I said earlier about the grades and stuff like that. Um, just so you know, if you have good grades. Going in, I like got 3.0, a 4.0, 
then when you go to take the SAT and the ACT, your scores ain't that high. You ain't got to be, because what the NCAA did, they're rewarding kids now based on what they do academically in the classroom. Whereas before, it was just the opposite. They had a set metric saying you had to score 820 in yeah. order to meet the NCAA guidelines. Now, if you got a 3.5, shit, you score a, a, a 600 or 610, you're good because they're going to say your GPA is good enough. So they're going to they're going to reward you for the work you do in the class because not every good, every kid is a good take, you yeah. know? Good kid is a good test take. So, yeah. young man, the things I would encourage you to do is make sure you take care of them grades, man, and meet with your counselor and your advisor and make sure they got you on the right track towards graduation. Because, you know, that second semester of your junior year, if you fail the class, you can't retake that class and get eligible for the NCAA. Yeah. And I don't think it's tomorrow. Like your your grades are out of off the chart, right? Yeah, I know. I know. They they better stay like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. So what? Do, yeah, like what? What do you? What do you? What do you get to do as parents? Like how do you? How do you, how do you do? You, um, do you set like a, a plan for Samario or stuff like that? Like, are you guys looking at getting them set up for you know, for college, like with, with Twitters and all this other stuff? Yeah, you know, it's been a plan since uh, since he first started. You know, at first we started football when he was. You know, knee high to a grasshopper for flag and whatnot. You know, with the intent to keep him out of trouble when he's older, keep him busy, keep him occupied. Yeah. And not really forcing him. He's taking that and he's just ran with it. You so, know what I mean? so it's he's been a, a blessing. product of the TYS yeah, organization. Is, yeah. Is, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And you know, I coached for a few years. You know, and helped him get on his way. And then there was a point where I was like, you know what? The coach has got it from here. So you yeah. know, I'm I'm his life coach. So now we're looking forward towards. Uh, the NSCA or NCSA, um, preparing them for colleges, recruiters, stuff like that. Uh, trying to get them going in that aspect. Um, Do you manage his Twitter? No, no, no. no. You, you take care of your own Twitter? Yeah, he's, he's yeah. you know, social media and all that. You know, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm on it, but I'm not really. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. But um, no, he, he, he knows. He knows what's appropriate, what's inappropriate. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we, we trust him and he's a good kid. So. I don't have any problems with him or any of my children for that matter, but yeah, um, yeah. Moving forward, football, we definitely looking forward for a season. It was kind of unfortunate last season. We didn't get to play much. Well, he didn't get to play much. Yeah. I didn't get to watch much. <laughs> One game, right? Yeah, but it's good. Yeah, well, you know, we with him, three. with him playing three, games? three. Yeah. freshman, freshman and varsity, Sunnyside? he got a little bit more playing time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that was cool. Um, See what he's gonna bring to the table, you know, with the bigger kids. Yeah. So how did how did you like high school your first year as a freshman? As a freshman, it was good. Um, I got to Coach Posey had gave me the opportunity to go up with the varsity. Um, I had I had gotten like three plays, but I, that's all right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> had, good had, plays though. I yeah, got, I caught I had, them. I recorded them, so I know. <laughs> I know on my first run, I broke for like thirty, yeah. and then I got called back for uh, holding, and then the next mm -hmm. play. I all of them got called back for penalties, actually. Yeah. So, did, it was a good experience. Did youth football, your youth football with with the Raiders, did it help you prepare for what for for high school? Like, say you playing youth football, did it, did when you got into high school, was it like oh, a whole new world, or was it kind of oh, okay? Were you prepared to play in high school? Or, Yeah. Sorry, Julius. I'm gonna take your mic. Yeah, I'm gonna. I got. I got him on this one right here. So. Um, it had to prepare me a little bit, but I think varsity was like was more of like open minded to it. Like I wasn't. I wasn't like full ready for it. Speak yeah. up, son. Put your mic to your mouth. I wasn't fully what? ready for varsity. Posey, you gotta get these guys to start speaking yeah. up here. Yeah, tell them how to talk, coach. Yeah. You got any questions for Coach Julius? Uh, not really. Um, no. Ju yeah, Julius, do you do you got any questions, Julius? No, I'm just glad to see that that young man has his dad, you know, supporting him and making sure that he's uh, on the right track and that he's uh, also giving him that that guidance and strength that he needs. Yeah, well, we got we got mom here too. We got mom, mom, mom back not here. ready. Come here, come mom here. not ready. <laughs> come, come over here. Hey, yeah. Is mom ready? No, come on, come no, over she's here. She's not ready. She ain't ready. She, she's she's coming. And, and and mom, is mom is at every event. It, um, oh, she, any pictures that, that were out there. Oh yeah, she was recording and and pictures everywhere. I mean, 
these are supporting parents, you know, all all through TYF, and they're 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 seeing the process through through the high school thing. Um, you know, uh, you you know, if it, it, uh, you have any questions for them, Julius, or anything you want to tell them. Well, I'm sure mom is running the show. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> she run the show. That's the boss. Yeah, I'm, trust me, I'm married to a, my my wife. She, I just she just tells me where we're going and I get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the way it works. But this is this is what you see, you know, for for you guys out there, um, and anybody who watches this later, you know, this is what youth football is supposed to do. It's supposed to get you ready to go up to high school and create moments like this. Like I said, I'll never forget. You know, his parents, they're always, always there for everything. Whatever it was, um, um, they were there to support Absolutely. not just their son, but the whole organization. And, you know, my hat's off to you guys. And, yeah. You know what I mean? I wish you guys nothing but the yeah. best. And yeah, Samario, so dude, uh, you're just going to ball out, dude. You can just uh, ball yeah. out. And He's all, great. And, and do your thing with your, with your teammates out there and, and, and have fun. Have fun, you know. So what, 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 what college do you want to go to? I don't know right and now. And what do you want to major in? I don't know. You know I'm still looking into colleges. Yeah. But I like LSU. Oh, oh yeah. I, I thought you were going to say Oregon again. I'll no. take, take his mic away. Oregon. Just kidding. Everybody says Oregon for the uniforms. Yeah, the uniforms are fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Go ahead. Hey, Angel. Hey, Angel. Yes, sir. One of the things I would tell that young man is this. He's listening. Bangles over there, but yeah, you know it's like they say, you know, uh, 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 dreams without goals are just dreams. You know what I mean? You, exactly. you got to have the goals, you know, so and and achieve those goals, and everything, your dreams will come true. You Good know? talk, coach. Thank you for being on the show, coach. But appreciate you so. tuning in on the phone, even though you couldn't yeah. be here. But uh, great show, nonetheless. Yeah, nonetheless, with Julius, thank you, thank you for uh, thank you so much, uh, calling in. Thank you, man. Oh uh, man, we're, we're definitely gonna get back, get get you on the show, and uh, you know, like I said, we'll we'll we'll, we'll see you on the course, on the golf course, and we, we, I bet and you, I we'll, beat you on the eighteen hole. And I'll just let you know, I only I only take three clubs, driver. I only take three driver, clubs. A wedge driver, wedge, and putter. A pitching wedge and a putter. I told you. <laughs> and the pitching wedge is just. And to I can lean last on. 18 holes too. You want to go against me? I'll go all the way. 18 the holes. Pitching wedge just to lean on when I get tired, coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Angel got a short game. Yeah. <laughs> he got a short game. He need help on that short the game. Short game right there. <laughs> yeah, you, you just all you gotta do is just hold it. That's it. Just drive the green, and you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, but, coach, all right man. Coach, thank well, you so much. Thank Tune you. In. We'll let you get get back to your to your night with your family right there. Thank you for calling in. And um, like I said, we'll we'll get this going and uh, and you know uh, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hey, Angel. And yeah. just so you know, make sure you let people know we ain't turning away no associations. Every association that was with us has stayed with us. Yes, sir. From everybody, from the Raiders. To the Falcons, to the Scorpions, to the yes, Vikings, to the Broncos, Broncos, the Dolphins, the Cowboys, the 49ers, Rams. the Cardinals, the Steelers, Everybody. the Jaguars, the Rams, the Redskins, Ooh. the Wolverines, the Damn. Colts, the Everybody, huh? Trojans, if y'all want to come back, get your butts back over here. Whatever it is, man, we just, we're here to play football and make the best best opportunities for these kids, not for us adults. That's the way it got to be, period. Peace. All right, brother. Take care of yourself. All right, brother. You have a good one. We'll see you. Bye.
There you go. So, hey, so shit, man. High school, right? You still yeah. alive? You still alive? What's up? You still alive? Thanks for coming through. This is all you right here? All you right here. It's your shine right here. Yeah. You can get you your profile. It's all about you right now. I haven't, I haven't Sunday. What happened? Oh, we're on it. Forget the well, count. In light of COVID, you know what I mean? And practicing and stuff. We still got to keep us busy. Absolutely, know? man. A lot of these oh, kids out here are grinding still. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's one got, of them. He's got the lab at the shop, and then he's got the speed training. You know what I mean? So, so state your name. Tell me, everybody. I know people are watching right now. So, yeah. Yeah. you did, right? Yeah. But just in case. <laughs> just in case you got. Yeah, they forgot. Yeah. Um, my name is Mario Garcia. What number are you? Uh, number five. five. Number five. Yeah. Who do you play for? Sunnyside. Sunnyside. <laughs> what what why, position? Why number five. That's what you grew it. up with, man. I don't know. Well, there has to be something for wearing number five. Like, why? Why do you wear number five? Is it just like a? Because I want to, boo. Yeah, I just chose it. My first year at the Raiders. And you just said I'm sticking with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I feel you say on muscle. You. My, my son, my son, my son plays offensive uh, line and he's number four. Oh, he got a chest. His <laughs> chest is pumping a little bit. He's a little yeah. thick. Let me see. There, there's mosquitoes out there. Coach, outside. All right. <laughs> he's still no, solid. Man, I, 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 honestly, I've heard, I've, I've heard a lot of, of good things going out there. I haven't been able to get out there to see because they don't, they don't really let, let, let us on the field when you, when they're out there. But um, when they were out there earlier in the season, I can. I have yeah, permission. Yeah, you got your you got your permission to do it. You got your passport. So I seen them ball. They're balling. He's balling. They're balling. How, how how's the future look at Sunnyside? Good. Um, there's a lot of good um, football players over there. They're, it's like a good environment too. Yeah. They, push to the they threw oh, this yeah. kid on varsity when he was a freshman. Why not? And he ran that ball. Why not? Boy, he yeah. ran the ball. That's the only way you I was like, better. run, Forrest, run. Yeah. <laughs> hey, were you running because you were fast or were you running because no, you were scared to get hit? Everybody's all yelling, he's a fresh. He's a fresh. He's a fresh. the kitchen. Right. No, man. So, um, what, what position do they got you playing out there? Uh, they had me playing running back. Running back? Yeah. Yeah, you playing some defense? I was playing um, outside linebacker. And, um, well, for freshman, not for varsity. Varsity, yeah. I only played running back. Yeah. Uh, freshman, I played um, slot and uh, middle linebacker. How was it being and in the? Outside. How was it being in the huddle with uh, with Dion for those three plays? Well, how how I, how was Dion in there? He's 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 a good quarterback. I was nervous though. Yeah. The whole time I was in the huddle, I was nervous. And another every, Raider guy. Yeah. Every, every time I get tackled, they all just be in the huddle. Are you good? Are you good? I'm like. I'm I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's good to know. Inside scoop. Yeah, what did time. Dion say? It's going to hurt for a little, but you'll get used to it. No, nah, you just tell me what to do. Yeah. yeah. Being what, a boss. That's being a, a good quarterback. inside right there. What does happen yeah. in the huddle? Yeah. You know, I, I know, that was dude. a good inside right there. Yeah, They're you asking you, are you all right? Like you good? Team, like, hey, nah. dude, give me the ball. That dude's slow over there. Yeah. No? Nah. He hasn't done that? Well, yeah, I would. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. um. So uh, how did how did they accept you like on the team as a freshman going up and and you I know sometimes you get like this guy that's a that's a junior it's like oh why those are my three carries like they didn't give me they did they support you and nah, everything there was only one running back um yeah. so honestly it was I got in that fourth quarter it was already like forty nine we're killing it 49, 13. Yeah. so Coach Posey just told me to go in because he was already getting tired. Cause yeah. I was shouting you out on the sideline. I'm like, put sunshine <laughs> in, yeah. aka sunshine. I'm gonna call it sunshine. Sunshine. Put sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> Sun. Like throw him in there, boy. Let we him can't run. take this guy nowhere. Man. <laughs> we can't take him anywhere. How was it playing with the with the with the band out there and everything? Was the band playing when you guys played? I don't know. I think it was the music. Yeah. I don't yeah. think they had the they band. They didn't have the band. No. Yeah, how did you guys feel as parents watching? Is it raining outside? Yeah, yeah holy raining. smokes! If you guys hear anything right now, it's like the it's like the um, yeah. thunder. Yeah, and, um, it's not my stomach growling. It's the rain. I know, like, <laughs> yeah. dang, it's yeah. like. But, Yeah. What, do like? you, what do you like? What do you like to run when you get yeah. the ball? You like to inside, run between outside, the tackles like on the or outside, outside or catch a little sweet passes? Like, well, stay safe. When I used to play in the when I used to play in um the Raiders. Oh, there we go. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would always run to the outside and yeah. then I'd cut back in. And then I'd hear him <laughs> yelling at me on the camera. 
So then I try, I, I try to just start to hitting the outside now. Yeah. It's, work, it's working a lot. For me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I gained a lot of yards uh, against CDO. Yeah. That's the game we lost uh, by a field goal. And um, I had a lot of good carries that game. Yeah. And yeah. they just started dominating us. Yeah. yeah. I think you're good at anything, man. I seen you run. You do a lot of little cutbacks and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think you're good at anything. You can be on the outside, run real quick. You, you, get to you, the middle. you go to Jet, right? Yeah. You go to Jet out there? with Sam. How, how, how has that helped you? How, how has it helped you? Has Sam it, you can tell like, a difference now? Yeah, I can. He's got me like more explosive. Like, so when I'm um and changing speed. Yeah. When can we not talk about Jet on the show, man? <laughs> like, all of the kids, hey. they go to Jet. You know what I'm saying? It's all about jet fitness. North, south, east, or west, you're going to jet. Bobby, tune in. Bobby. Bobby, Sam, (laughs) Mickey, and Mike. (laughs) Yeah, he got it on lock, man. He's got all these kids doing great things. Sam's good. Yeah, Sam's good. Sam's good. Sam's good. Sam's good. Sam's good. Sam's with Evil, right? What was it called? Yeah, the the evil. evil, yeah, yeah. That's his little another jet fitness going. athlete, right here. Yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, you guys didn't answer my question. Get a chance to answer. How did how did it how did it feel watching your son like a year out of thirteen year Raiders football step on the field as a freshman in varsity? Like like to see him step on the field. How how, how did you come, come over here, mom? So you can you can we gonna get the family in here. Yeah, we gotta get the family. Know. You know what I mean? But I, I've been excited yeah. for this year because this is honestly what we've been working towards for, you know, since since the gate, you know, yeah. since we started. Yeah. A lot of the kids that I coach with him, yeah. that's, it's this year, you know what I mean? This is the year that, that they're all supposed to, to, you know, coming up, coming up yeah. and shine. And the next four years are supposed to be really, really interesting. Absolutely, you know I mean? man. we got a lot, like... of, a lot of good quarterbacks, a lot of good, just a lot of good athletes in general that, you know, I've seen what they can do. And I know they've all played together. And it's it's, it's amazing to still see them. Be such good friends, even though they're on different teams or playing different right. positions or yeah, whatnot. About, yeah. But it, it's 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 amazing. It's amazing what they're what they're doing. He's only yeah, a freshman, yeah. so four yeah. years of high school. Imagine what he's gonna be building up them stats. So all those yeah. recruiters out there, yeah, you're probably looking at him right now. But he's only a freshman, so he's got like a couple of years. Yeah, high school, and they're gonna be looking for him. Where's that kid with all the hair? <laughs> like that. Right there, right? for him now. How, how did you how did you feel, mom? When watching your son, watching your baby go onto the field, and first and, off, know, did you did you have the camera right here, or were oh, was, was it right that here camera. And the tears were coming oh, down? No, no, no. She's on the camera. <laughs> the camera. Uh, I always have the camera for him because he likes to go back and watch film, no matter mm-hmm. if it's he was five, six, seven. He always likes to go watch film, see what yeah. he did wrong or what he could do better. But I never doubt that he wouldn't do great things in high yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah. So you felt pretty good watching him go on that, that number five go on the field. Yeah, proud of him. Yeah, heck yeah, <laughs> heck yeah. That's where, and that that's what that's where we want to see them. Uh, you know, you got Carlos Guerrero right what's there. Up? He says, "What's up?" He says, "What's what up, precision Carlos? quarterback?" Precision quarterback. Carlos, I Carlos. promise you, we'll yeah, get to that so raffle. You you know, be, and, and before before we close it up, you know, do, we, you as parents as parents, and and, and we'll go at, at, with the athlete first, the student athlete. What would you tell these young guys? What would you tell like? My my guy, my thirteen U kids that are gonna play thirteen U this year. What what would you tell them? Uh, what what advice would you give them? Just for high school. For for playing the last year in, in youth football and and going into high school, like anything you want, a message you want to give them. Um, just get ready to be yelled at a lot more. Yeah. 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 So yeah. They like they yell more in high school. Yeah. I had to step up my game. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. What else more though? Um, what about nutrition? Huh? Like when you're doing the workout and all that stuff, that's got to be different, right? You, you get like your nutrition, right? What you eating? Oh yeah, you gotta eat a lot. That more. fitness, yeah. it's all about the fitness, right? Yeah. yeah. Learning a lot. Huh? Learn not yeah. a lot about like nutrition in your body. Yeah, then we gotta learn about more of what to eat and like eating healthier. What are you eating right now? What am I eating? Um, it's in no Cheetos. No, no. no. What you eating, I've man? been eating some burritos and um, burritos. Hey, that's, what? Like. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you gotta have those burritos. Orlando, burrito. uh, turn your mic off. We're talking about burritos here. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to say like some protein. Oh, so yeah, I mean, protein. Yeah. But nutrition, man. That's like half the game. Good. 
We're good. No, I'm, I, fucking, I, I'm I, getting I, 40, I, man. I, I, Look at me. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. It's my favorite. Yeah. That's cool. So, so parent, parents, so what advice do you give uh, um, the parents in the youth football right now? Um, like, what, do you, what would you advise them on, you know, bring your kid through youth football? Uh, well, from being a coach, honestly, it's, it's, I've seen a lot of parents, it's hard for them to let go and let their, their little one just shine on their own. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of hard for some parents, like, oh, that coach is yelling at my son or whatever, and he did this, or put him in, he's better, better than this. Just let the coaches do what they, they do. You yeah. know, they know they're working with the kids. They, they know their efforts, you know, they, they gauge them. They don't just throw them out there and set them up for failure. You know, all you yeah. coaches, we're, th we're there for one thing, you know, it's for the children. And it's to be successful and it's positive and it's family. You know, it's it's a lot of these things, but ultimately, you know what I mean, it's about these guys getting ready for the next level, which is high school, college, and whatever else, you know, D1. Who said it better? You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, ultimately, um, it's about them, you know, them being happy. You know what I mean? As long as he goes and he's getting, you know, that 1% better every day or he feels that 1% better about himself every day, that's fine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to – I might critique, you know, when we're watching the plays or I see it of going course. down where he's like, yeah. Yeah. like and I, but I'm right. not out there. You know what yeah. I mean? It's yeah. real easy to be in the stands and, hey, you should have threw the ball. You should have did this. You should have did that. But I'm not out there. You know what I mean? So I just got to make sure that he's mentally prepared for when he's out there. He knows what to expect and what he's doing out there. As long as he's focused and the whole team's got that same mindset, you know, they're, yeah. they're unstoppable. We've seen it. We've seen it. Oh, but, yeah. Our teams yeah. before with the Raiders and you know yeah. the Redskins had their little oh, Redskins also rain for a while and you mm -hmm. know it, it jumps around you know what I mean the athletes come up from mm -hmm. all parts of the town and it's it's all Arizona it's all family you know what I mean so yeah, yeah awesome, ultimately man. you know definitely yeah. like I said as as like as a volunteer uh, going you know trying to you, you, as volunteer you go through a bunch of stuff and you go through a lot of people yelling at you and doing yeah this and that is but 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 all that stuff brushes off when you see student yeah, athletes yeah. like this succeeding in what they love to do. And you know what I mean? So all that, that that's a that's a big big that's the payoff, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a big payoff and you know, I got my son, he got what thirteen U this year and another year of thirteen U. He'll play two years, he's a little younger, but I wanna be where you guys are at, man. You know, I can't wait to get there. I can wait, but I can't wait. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean yeah. that's my baby still, you know. I'm saying like the next but, four years are supposed to be really exciting, but with COVID, you know, kind of put a little little damper, but you know, we we, we adapt, we overcome, you know what I mean? That's, that's what we it. do. Um so he's still doing seven on seven, he's still doing you well, know, getting yeah. started on that. Yeah. He's starting yeah. back seven on seven uh, right. tomorrow if the weather permits. So Coach Marcus? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Flight. You know we on that flight five two. <laughs> Marcus, I think Marcus. Where can we find you at, man? Oh yeah. What you got? Twitter? Uh, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, we'll put it out there. Um, five reasons. Um, two underscores. There you That's go. It. All right. What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter account? Don. Just Samario Garcia. Samario Garcia. Yeah. All right. It's simple, right? Yeah. <laughs> but all right. We'll, we'll throw it up there real soon. Hell yeah, we'll put it up there to uh, to check, uh, message it in there. That way we can have it. If anybody you know is watching. No it, pressure. You know, it'll be great. Uh, Ronnie be Cox. Great. We're gonna get with Ronnie Cox soon, and talk about the whole recruiting process for for colleges, and we're gonna try and get you guys set up. Um and. Uh, that way, he, he, he loves to help out. I mean, he, he, this is a dude that just wants to, he's interested in, in helping these kids. You know, he played at ASU, um, and uh, now he wants to he wants to help the kids out. So that's, cool. so that's something we can do to get, start getting that video out there. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys so, for coming. Thank you guys. And, 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 and thank so, you for everything. Good seeing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what up, boy? Yeah, it's been a while. There's no way to find you guys. Yeah. All right, y'all. Good show. Good job. We had about an hour and twenty minutes in, so yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, so we, we we got Jeremy. Jeremy was trying to call in, um, but we were already on the line, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a call. See what Mr. JC wants to say really oh, yeah? quick. Yeah, he, he's, oh, okay. he's on the line, so we'll we'll, uh, we'll get JC out there, and then we'll cut it off. We'll be good to go. See if he answers. But yeah, man. Uh, Hey, what up, JC? You're on the you're you're on live right now with five two zero gridiron. What's happening, five two zero gridiron? What's happening? Hello, What's happening, <laughs> JC? Not Anybody? Much. Hey, chilling, chilling. hey for, first, I was just want to say I'm sorry uh, about your Green Bay Packers. Um, oh, come on, man! 
Yeah. You know we had to throw that out. <laughs> Been a week, man. You know, you know the road 24 hours. You know, uh-huh. what I'm saying? we need a proper introduction right yeah, here. Yeah. Tell him who he is. Yeah, hey, this is Jeremy Conley, president, el presidente of the Tucson Raiders youth football experience. We'll see you guys. Uh, um, okay. we got him on the line okay, live. Everybody. You know, we, we got everybody. We got we got Chris right there, always watching. We got Mario Reyes. What's happening? You get that big fella ready for high school. Go do his thing. We got JC on the line. So what's what's going on, JC? What's happening at the Tucson Raiders and the youth football right now, man? Yeah, we get ready to play football, man. That, that's, that's the focus that's right now. Playing football in, in 2021. Uh, I think 2020 taught us a lot and, uh, you know, helped us prepare to, to be even more successful in 2021. So we're getting ready to play football, man. Okay. Hey, and and it starts March thirteenth. Already, it starts March thirteenth for them. Hey, that nine year, yeah, that yeah, nine year yeah. uh, Tucson Raiders They're running under the uh, uh, Southside Pit Bulls club team. Uh, you know, if your son or, or daughter is nine years old, ten years old, you know, you gotta get uh, get with Coach Jeremy, and uh, and yeah, uh, you know, get 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 your get your kids some playing time right there. Get ready for the fall season. So. How how's that looking, Jeremy? You guys ready for this? Yeah, man, seven. we ready, man. We ready. We excited, man. I, I I was listening in on the show, and uh, Coach Dex kept texting me and messing me up, so I kept getting lost, and <laughs> you know. But he's excited. We excited, man. It's just gonna be fun, man. It's, it's an experience that uh, it's gonna help us going into the fall. Next year, we're going into ten U, so you know, it gets a little bit more uh, a little bit more serious at that level. So. I want to just want to make sure that my guys are prepared, get them as much football as possible before that uh, before that task. That's it. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. So, so yeah, you got you got Hollywood ready to go. You got a, a little little uh, Jair ready to go out there, and you you got yeah. the you got the, what I seen you guys in that seven on seven in a championship game out there in the red zone out in Phoenix two weeks ago, three weeks ago. You know, you got a you got a good nucleus going out, getting you know to uh, start this um, uh, spring season out. So yeah, yeah, you know, and it was exciting. To, it's just exciting to see them uh, compete. You know what I mean? Like it's, at, at this young age, you know, you know, it, it's hard to get the kids to understand what the c- competition of the sport is. And you know, my guys have already grasped that, and, and they're ready. They're hungry. We hungry. Ready to eat. <laughs> serve them up. Serve them up. Already, yeah, <laughs> yeah. These kids go 365 yeah. days a year, man. These kids don't yeah. stop. They work out like, all yeah. day. Heck yeah, every day. That's what. That's what's up. You that's know, what's hey. gonna make Tucson great. Hey, you, you got you know JC. You know we're we're on the on the phone on the phone earlier on a call with uh, with Julius Julius Holt, uh, president of TYF. You know, um, you you being the president, I I know you know. I'm, hey, I'm I'm your VP player. I got your back. But hey, um, you know, I I spoke on the, on, on the traveling part. Are the are the Tucson Raiders willing to travel to to Sierra Vista? Oh man, we 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 love to travel. We don't mind the we don't mind the task of traveling. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what we've improved on over the last uh, few years. Um, is just get, getting out there and and just not being afraid to just 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 go out there and, and see what's out there. You know what I mean? We've been doing it. I mean, yeah. from Vegas to, to Phoenix to El Paso to California to, you know what I mean? We'll, yeah. we'll go anywhere. We'll yeah. go anywhere. So, yeah. I mean, the I don't dates don't conflict with anything, we're good. Yeah. 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 And, and there's some good competition down there in Sierra Vista. You know what I mean? We had the pleasure of uh, playing against those guys this past, uh, this past uh, year and, they they got some they got some players out there. Yeah, I mean it's a small town, but you know they know their football. So yeah, I mean us seeing it, there was, there was room for two teams, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there is. There there's room for the Thunder and the Broncos, and then there's room for Sierra Vista Wolverines and Sierra Vista Colts, right? I say there's room for everybody. I mean, yes, the sir. more the merrier. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's for the kids. You know, it's not for for us coaches worrying about what's gonna happen on our side. You know, as long as you're taking care of your business, I mean, you know, you'll be straight. You know, yeah. coaching your kids yeah. right, teaching them right, and just making sure you 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 got the best coaches within your organization. You know what I mean? And just commitment out of everybody. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's he, definitely a team effort, but yeah, we got we got Mario Mario Reyes. He's listening in right here. He 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 uh was his first year with the Raiders. Uh, oh, yeah? here, you know, yeah. If you, hey Mario, if you're if you're What's if up, you're still online right now, you know, uh, um, you know, how how do you, how'd you like how'd you like traveling? I mean, we got a lot a lot of traveling in with uh, your guys' team, this 14 U this past year. Oh you yeah, know? man. You know, Lots it was actually games, they were all 13 U's except for like one player. One player was a 14 U team. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it, it, and and they had they went they went up to fourteen U and they ended up winning the D two state championship. Man, you know that's what I was talking about football. this whole time. Like, man, you have club ball now that developed through this whole thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you got options now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I ain't gonna yeah. say. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. That's on everybody's that's mind. We're, we're, we're playing football. Yeah, we're yeah. Playing, football we're playing football in regardless. So. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to throw it out there. Regardless, we're going to play football regardless. I'm going to be the bad guy and throw it out there. Yeah. Play football regardless. That's Whatever it. pandemic, okay. what? We're yeah. going to play football. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know, hey, you got Mario, Mario Reyes. He's, he's saying you know, we should bring in some of the boys that are going into their freshman year. On the show, yeah, that's no problem, brother. That's no problem. We'll, we'll get them in here. We'll get a few of them in here. But uh, you, yeah, we'll definitely have to set that up. Maybe we might do that next week. Maybe do that next week. Get a just couple don't kids. Cancel. And, and you know, just from you know, from the Raiders team or right, any other team that that's out there, you know, we can bring them in. You know, this is for for them to come out and and uh, you know, and, and just speak. You know, and and uh, speak your mind. Cause speak your mind. Football that's don't it. stop. Football don't Hell stop. Three, six, five right days now. a year. Shoot, these kids are out Hell here working out right now. If it's raining and storming, they're playing Madden. Yeah. <laughs> Once that rain stops, they're getting dirty in the mud out there. But that's it, man. Hey, man. So, you know, um, yeah, JC. So we, yeah, so we we're gonna be good and we, we're gonna continue forward, and uh, we'll keep it going like that. But. Um, didn't you yeah. coach, didn't you, you, uh, Samario was on your, on your team? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Samario, Samario ball for us, man. He was, yeah. he was our, he was our stud, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, he was stud. Yeah. yeah, we did good for us. He, was, he, he did good for us. And I, and I had the pleasure of getting to watch him, uh, progress through high school, you know what I mean? As a coach, that's, that's a proud moment to, to see one of your kids that you, uh, coached, uh, you know, successful on the second level. I mean, he plays on the team with my son, and and just yeah. to see those guys and and the other guys too that were on the team, just to see them how they uh, grown and and just jumped into the next level. And you know, we're going up to Phoenix to the Gridiron uh, little tournament up there, and watch them do their seven on seven thing. So uh, yeah, I'm, that's you know, I'm having fun being a, yeah. I'm having fun being on the other side. You know what I mean? As a coach, you know, you don't. You don't get to see the side of the parent, you know what I mean? And, yeah. Oh yeah. That's cool to have the parents on. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's cool to have the parents on. Even though it was only, even though it was only three games, you know what I mean? It was. I was a parent. You know what I mean? I was that loud ass parent out there that was just <laughs> <laughs> giving it to the ref. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And I had a good time. That's all of it. He's all. I had a good time yelling at the refs. <laughs> <laughs> We were all there. That's how it all started, hey, bro. You need to be up at 3 in the morning like me every day so you can hear the, the sports channel station asking for referees because the parents keep yelling at them. Yeah. <laughs> I, got to know the, I got to know the refs real well yeah. uh, last year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the refs are going to be like, give that dude some nachos, man, so he can't say nothing. Keep, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, man, that's what it's all about, you know, seeing the sure. kids progress and, and, and get better, you know, every, you know, every day they get better is a, is, um, is, is a win, you know, every day they get yeah, better is a win, definitely. so it's, it's good to see these kids, I remember them walking around all, you know, all little, not even playing, you know, boogers in their nose, yeah. and stuff like that, now they're, now they're grown, look, trying to look down on you, trying to swell up on you, you know what I mean? I want to say like six years yeah. for me, Yeah, it's been six, six years, <laughs> hey coach, how long you been doing this? For me, it's been like six. So you've been doing it for like thirty years. <laughs> um, Jeremy, uh, how long you been doing it with the kids and the coaching? Uh, uh, shit, going on 10, 11 years now. Damn. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, Jeremy's been there. You know, Started and, with Flag Silver. Yeah, yeah, that's back amazing. In the day at, uh, that's you amazing. Know, over there at the Santa Rita Park, yeah. but. You know, and then as a player too, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm a Raider, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I've been a Raider, so. 
when I first got And I'm, just to see our organization, you know, go, just grow and progress and continue to evolve. And, you know, like you said, Angel, just traveling has, has helped us a lot. You know what I mean? And yeah. We're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to, to, to put ourselves out there and, and get our kids exposure. Yeah. You know? yeah. Sure. As long as we're able to do it, you know what I mean? If it's not conflicting with anything, we, we'll we travel. We'll yeah, go, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so, some yeah. people expect us to travel, you know, from state to state every week. It's like, man, you know, I, I work for a living. <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> but, this is but, this yeah, a right it, but it's always good to, it's always good to, to, you know, to be, you know, be challenged. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and people and people wanting you to 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 to, to want to play you, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. you're doing something right. So. That's it, man. California to Texas. That's <laughs> what we've been playing, right? California, <laughs> Texas. Team. We, we, we we need Florida, Florida, Florida we, we, California, yeah. Texas. Yeah. Kelly, Who else want Kelly it? Who else wants to smoke? Who wants want some smoke? <laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry, I'm feeling boasty right now. I'm oh, sorry. Man, what's you happening, Sheree? That's Sheree. Hey, what's up, what's up? Up, man. Yeah, you got that swerve in there, bro. Uh, I'm for the Raiders, uh, right? I said, I said what, you, Raiders. I go, what you drinking in there, Orlando? Yeah, I go, what you drinking in there, Orlando? He goes, oh, it's a cognac. He's a, uh, what? A cognac. Oh, it's cognac okay. full. Oh, all right. Some yak. Some yak. Uh, yeah, I gotta have a good time, though. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, well, fun, yeah, man. man. Well, Being on this show, this is a blessing. This show right yeah. here, man. Yeah. Getting to speak to everybody from the Oop. surrounding Tucson yeah. area, high school, youth football, yeah. uh, old school cats, yeah. young guys coming in, everybody right here. Yeah. I love it, man. Who would have thought, who'd have thought right there sitting down, you know, drinking a Pepsi, we talk about, let's do the damn show. Well, let's do I the know, show. Right? That's the you know, pandemic so, that got you yeah. fired, lit up, start yeah. something new. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Starting a business. It ain't a business, but I'm yeah. just saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, fun. Love this yeah. show right here. Yeah. Man, we're getting a minute 30. See, we can go on forever, yeah, man. This, this thing going forever, but... We still got yeah. good views. Yeah. Everybody's still watching. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. why are they still watching right now? <laughs> like, like, yeah, Stop. man. I'm, I'm trying to go finish watching the Jenny Rivera, you know, oh, story. I finished all that. Yeah, yeah, don't get dude. me started on that Jenny you know Rivera. I mean? Shoot, so, man. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Jeremy should know about yeah, that. Jeremy, Jeremy, Look at the woman he married. Jessica watching that thing. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, you'll find yourself sitting there watching it too, man. All right, well, yeah, we gotta get going. Hell yeah, no, man, Jeremy, thank you for calling in, brother. Thank you for thank everything you, you do. Thank you, man. And uh, and uh, good yeah, guy right here. Show, man. Oh, yeah. Good guy. Hey, you. you know, you know, you know, it's coming up on a year since I've been on the show, right? So it's been a year. We we gonna have to we have to, 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 to make it. an appearance. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna get you in. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it next week. We're gonna bring in a couple of the of the 2020 14U kids. Uh, the 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 Division Two state champions of the 14U division. We're gonna bring a few of them in here. And see what they're doing to get ready for their high school. Gotta get it going. Don't cancel me. Yeah, no, we're moving. We're moving forward with this, and uh, we'll we'll be out here next Friday. You know what I mean? Yep. I'll do air Friday, guys. Yeah, yeah. we're on it. You know, thank you know, thank you, Jeremy, for coming on. You know, yeah, brother, Coach Jeremy being on here is you know brought to you by the five two zero Complete Automotive of Fourth Avenue and Twenty Eighth Street around the corner, Big Blue Building. Hit it up. You got the Garcia family. You got Roy out there. His dad, uh, they're working. Uh, Um, you know they they you know. Get out there, support your local businesses. Yeah, and don't forget underestimated. Yeah, underestimated, right there. You mm-hmm. need your uniforms or whatever kind of uniforms you need. Seven on sevens, they got them. They got them. You got um, uh, what is the Arizona Royalties out there? Yeah. They're doing they're doing their thing. Alfonso Reyes, AZ you know, Crown Photo, AZ Crown mean. Photo. I know I take pictures That's and videos it. out there. Yeah. I love it. But uh, yeah, you got right your there. five two gridiron precision yeah. quarterbacks, oh, jet, yeah, precision all these guys. So all local businesses. Yeah. The support them Tucson all. Tucson blown up. That's it. And so, you know, JC, thank you. Thank you, brother. Oh, you, oh, you hung up on him? Oh, yeah. Right. I tried to turn the screen <laughs> off. Sorry, JC. Sorry, JC. Sorry, <laughs> it was the Cognac. All right. Well, no, we got to get going, man. A uh, minute 32. Yeah, that's it. We're yeah. supposed to do like half an hour of flash fires real yeah, quick. There's right. a, it always ends up being later. Yes, yeah, sir. But uh, we love you guys. Yeah. Tune in next time. All right. We'll be back all with right. you. Five two over there, Coach O, Coach Angel Bracamonte, right here. Hey, we're out. See you guys next Friday. All right, y'all. Love, peace.